government says the death of a child is tragic and deeply distressing for the family, but gave no indication that there were any plans to even consider its stance on giving Shamima Begum back her British citizenship. Chichi Zandu, BBC News. Well, let's hear some more of what Shamima Begum's father had to say. He was speaking to the BBC's in Barisan Atarajan in Bangladesh before the news emerged that his daughter's newborn son had died. <laughs> Shamima went to Syria four years ago. She was underage at the time. She couldn't understand much. I suppose someone influenced her to do it. Now I think that the British government can take her back. I admit that she might have done wrong without realizing it. They can take her back and punish her if she has made any mistake. Taking her back to Britain will be a good thing as she is a British citizen. She was born in Britain and she has never gone to any other country. Did you or any of your family members had any idea about how Shamima Begum was getting radicalized? Do you think she was groomed or she went to Syria on her own free will? I have no idea about that. I never saw Shamima in this way during the time I stayed with her. I didn't notice any such behavior from her. Many people back in Britain would ask, how come the parents of Shamima Begum did not know anything about her online activities and how she was getting radicalized. They might ask, as parents, you also have some responsibility. We can actually, when he... actually, for the last several years, I lived in Bangladesh more. Sometimes I go to London for two or four months, but not for longer than that. I do not know much about her lately. When I stayed with Shamima, I never got any hint she might go to Syria or join IS. Thousands of people have taken to the streets of Venezuela as part of two rival